We're rolling. Well, hello again. Today we're going to talk about... Wait, what is this video about again? Oh, yeah. We're going to talk about how to use Google Docs and Slides for doing your homework assignments. Chromebook hacks for the new classroom. Google Docs and Google Slides are fantastic tools for doing your schoolwork, and both of them have a lot of cool features. In this video, we'll cover the basics you'll need to know for creating great reports and presentations, along with a few pro tips. First, let's open Google Classroom and go to an assignment. In this one, the teacher wants us to create a slideshow presentation about deep sea life. To start making a slideshow, I'll click Add or Create at the top right and choose Slides from the drop-down menu. This opens Slides and creates a new slideshow. I'll add my title in the middle and then I can click the plus sign at the top left to add more slides. And here's a tip. If you click the little arrow next to the plus sign, you can choose from a bunch of different slide designs called templates. Now, type in the information you need on each slide and use the insert menu to add other elements like pictures and videos. To change the font, use the drop down menu here. Click the plus or minus buttons to make the text larger or smaller. To add another text box, click the T button and then click the slide wherever you want the box to appear. If you need to reorder your slides, just drag them up or down on the list. Here's another pro tip. If you want to make your slideshow look cooler, click Transition in the top toolbar. Then choose an effect from the drop-down menu. Click Apply to all slides. When it's time to present your slides, tap Present at the top right. Now let's try doing an assignment in Google Docs. Go back to your Google Classroom assignments and find one that your teacher wants you to do on Google Docs. Click Add or Create at the top right and choose Docs from the menu. You can add a title for your report up here. Use the menus at the top of the page to change the font or font size and play around with some of the other formatting tools if you like. For example, the Insert Image button lets you add a picture to your doc. If you need to make a bulleted list in your doc, click this button, or the one next to it if you want a numbered list. Google Docs will automatically give your spelling and grammar suggestions by underlining words. Just click on it to see the suggestion, and if you like, accept it. If you're wondering how much you've written, you can go to the Tools menu and click Word Count. Here's another pro tip. If you're reviewing a classmate's work, Click this button to add a comment. Using the at sign, you can tag classmates or teachers in the box to make sure they get a notification about your comment. Oh, and if your fingers get tired after a long day of typing, try out voice typing. Just click and speak. Once you've finished your report, go back to the assignment page in Google Classroom and it should be up here on the right. If it's there, that means it's attached and you can click Turn In if you're ready to send it to your teacher. Congratulations! Now you know how to use Google Slides and Docs to do your assignments. If you want more tips and tricks for using your Chromebook, be sure to check out our other videos down below. Hey school IT gals and guys, if you want to raise your Chromebook game, drop by samsung.com slash anymoreclassroom for resources on Chromebook management, how to win funding, and lesson plans that work great, whether you're in person, remote, or hybrid. Wait a minute, don't go yet. I want to tell you about Samsung Solve for tomorrow. It's a contest that challenges students in grades six through 12 from across the nation to show how STEM can improve their communities. Just by applying, your teacher will get free professional development opportunities, and schools win prizes as they advance in the contest. For more information, visit samsung.com slash solve for tomorrow. Okay, bye.